Hi guys, Danny here and welcome to the first Danny Helps video. Uh, in these videos what I'm going to do is answer questions sent in by you guys, but in video form so if other people are having the same problem as well, uh, they can just watch the video and resolve the problem that way. In this video I'm going to be dealing with the very basics, that is how to mod. So what I'm going to do is go to my versions. Now as you guys might know, uh, with this new launcher, it's incredibly simple to mod, to create different profiles. And with the different profiles, you can have different mods. So, for example, in this profile that I've called 7, which was the first uh, 1.7 uh, profile that I created, if I go to Edit, you can see that you can select where you want to put the game directory. So, as you can see, I have it in the desktop, and I put all of the different versions in the versions there. So if I go to versions there, okay, and 7, okay, you can see all of my mods that I have here. Not a lot of mods, but you can see the mods there. So it's incredibly simple. So all you need to do is create a version, and the profile will be placed wherever you want it. Go to mods, download the mods, and paste it here. It's just that simple. Now, sometimes, sometimes you might have ID conflicts. And in times like that, I have the perfect profile here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there is a mod called... Do I have it here? I don't. But there is a mod called ID Conflicts, as you can see here, that gives ID Conflicts. And if you have any ID Conflicts, it lists it out. And then you can see which IDs are causing conflicts. So over here it says 800, and then a certain item from a certain mod with another item from another mod. So what you can do is go to the configs of either of those mods and change it there. And it even gives a suggested range so you can go you can put the IDs from anywhere there, there or there. And changing the IDs are pretty simple. All you need to do is go to the configs. The configs are created when you first start the the game with the mod. And for example, let's go to the Thumbcraft one here. All the different IDs to the different blocks are here. Now I can change this to anything else, and if I do it wrong and it conflicts, well, the game won't start, or it will just overwrite the item. And if that happens, well, you don't really want that because, say, for example, you have gold in your world, well, place all the gold with a different block. So hopefully that won't happen, so it's best to keep your IDs in check. Now, other things have IDs as well, for example, enchants, entities potion effects, things like that. Now, one big problem that I faced not too long ago was that the ID for uh, the flux taint poisoning from Thumbcraft was conflicting with the radiation poisoning from Reactorcraft, and I had no idea how to solve it. But if something like that does happen, it's actually quite simple. All you need to do is find the ID for the conflict, so... In this, I can't find it, but actually here it is. Uh, potion Flux Stain 30. This was exactly the same ID as the radiation poisoning, and I had no idea how to solve it because back then I didn't know that potion effects had IDs. So it's quite simple. You go there, you can change it to any number there, uh, or change it to any other number. And I'll go to a big one so you can see how conflicted this can be. Now, say for example, you have a lot of mods. For example, in this uh, profile, you can see I have a lot of mods. And, well, the conflicts to this will become really hectic, as you can see here. Actually, I haven't deleted a lot of these conflicts for mods that I've already removed. I probably should do that. But things like this usually cause a lot of conflict. For example, the Rekas one, it was in Reactor Craft. So, here we go. Uh, let you can see all of the different things of IDs. There you go. The radiation effect is 79. I set it to 79 myself. It was 30 before and used to conflict with Thomcraft. So that was quite annoying. And all I did was go here and I changed the item ID to a random number. You can jump around different numbers if you don't know exactly what number to have. And well, if the game crashes, then change it again. If it doesn't, then well, you're you're fine then. So yeah, those are all of the different problems that you could possibly face with ID conflicts. And putting in the mods themselves are actually quite simple. Like I said, go to the mod section, paste the mods, and you're done. It's just that simple. 
And I think that's it for this video. Like I said, I was only going to cover the basics, and the basics are quite simple. And if you guys have any other questions that you want me to answer in video form that you think might help other people as well, just send me the question through my new Facebook page. Uh, it's in the description. Or just send me a mail through YouTube. And I'll see if other people will benefit from the question and I might make a video. Uh, I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.